Beer lovers may wonder, is this a pub in Dublin? Maybe a beer house in Brussels? Did we get lost somewhere in the Bavarian Alps? Nothing of the kind. This is the Palestinian Oktoberfest, a unique beer festival that has been taking place for the last three years in the village of Taibe, home of the only brewery in Palestine. The Taibe Brewery was founded by the Khoury family, who after the Oslo Agreements decided to give a comfortable life in the United States and return to their homeland to help in the build-up of the country. Well, it started as a hobby when I was in Boston. Uh, I became a home brewer, making beer at home. And I used to come here every year in the summer and brew my beer for my family. And they encouraged me, me very much to continue on and study brewing and come back and make our dream to make it true by uh, opening the first microbrewery in Palestine. Taibe has become the first Palestinian company to sell a franchise, in this case to Germany, and recently it started to export to Japan. This wouldn't be much news if not for the fact that Taibe has become a successful company, in spite of the countless difficulties of working in the midst of a military occupation. We don't know exactly what our future will hold. We, we continue to work hard every day, we continue to uh, keep the light at the end of the tunnel, to uh, have hope, but actually we live in a situation of not knowing. We can make many plans and we can make many marketing strategies, but you know, one huge big Israeli closure and uh, you know, all, all the marketing strategies can be uh, blown up. We don't have a country yet, but we have our own Palestinian beer. This is a Palestinian Palestinian product, I'm, and I'm proud of it. The challenges that Taibe beer faces come also from the fact that a wide sector of Palestinian society, for religious reasons, does not drink alcohol. To meet the situation, the brewery has begun plans to produce a non-alcoholic beer. We want to find any way to exist here in Palestine, and so if if alcohol is to be forbidden, or if uh, if strict regulations for alcohol were to come, we want to brew zero alcohol, and we want to work for a secular Palestine, a modern Palestine. We want to have reflect the diversity that exists in Palestine, and so we just simply want to have our freedom to exist and to brew beer for beer lovers. In the future, Taibe hopes to expand in the region and to promote a recycling program for Palestine. There are also plans to sell Taibe beer to the country where it was born, but so far the US trade authorities have refused to issue an import permit on the basis of the labeling. The United States of America currently does not recognize Palestine as a country, and so our bottle of Taiba beer clearly says made in Palestine, and we're very proud of that production because we work hard to produce an excellent Palestinian product to reflect that also in Palestine, uh, we too are capable if we have freedom and we have a country producing excellent products. It's clear that no matter what, Taiba will continue brewing beer for many years to come beyond the time when Palestine is a free country and drinking beer becomes as much part of Palestinian life as the olive trees and Dapka dance.